Although there is no specific therapy or vaccine available yet for COVID-19, reports keep showing that older adults and men are at increased risk of becoming more ill or dying from COVID-19. Hi, my name is Dr. Rasha Alami. I am a Master of Clinical Science candidate at the University of Texas Medical Branch. My colleagues and I have completed a new study that will appear in Mayo Clinic Proceedings entitled Sex Hormones and Novel Coronavirus Infectious Disease COVID-19. In this study, we explore the idea that sex steroid hormones, estrogen and testosterone, may provide an added layer of a protection to older patients and people with hormone deficiencies with COVID-19. Healthcare providers may wish to consider this aspect when treating older patients with COVID as it may lessen the severity of their illness. As the search for COVID-19 treatments continues, understanding the role of sex hormones in disease severity is very important. The most widely accepted main culprit of COVID-19 induced damage is the intense inflammatory response, which is a heightened immune response and cytokine storm that can severely damage the lung tissue, leaving some patients ill enough to require ICU support. There are documented differences between women and men in how their bodies respond to inflammation that have been linked at least in part to estrogen and testosterone. Both of the sex hormones seem to protect younger people against the inflammation that makes COVID infection more severe, although this effect is stronger in women. And as with the most infectious diseases, women immune system responds more efficiently to pathogens producing higher amounts of antibodies. For coronavirus in particular, women have shown a consistent survival advantage over men. However, this protection driven mainly by estrogen is dampened in older women who are postmenopausal. Testosterone is reported to lower inflammation in men as estrogen does in women. Similarly, low levels of testosterone, as can happen in older men, have also been linked with increasing signs of inflammation and may be responsible for heightened risk of lung damage in older men with COVID-19. So, it is important to consider the potential role of sex hormones in developing treatment plans for COVID-19 patients, specifically older adults and those with hormone deficiencies. Future research is needed on the potential effect of these hormones in patients with COVID-19 as well as diseases made more severe by inflammation. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.